Okay, in this section, 11.3, graphing a logarithmic function basic. Um, there are two things you need to know, and that is that there are always two common um, points on every um, graph, okay? And so to keep it a little bit more general, um, I'm going to explain to you how to get the... Um, x values of your chart and then you can always just figure out what the y values should be because the y value this is the y value it's just a fancy way of saying y so once you know what the argument is you can calculate what the y would have to be okay so how do we figure out what that should be now the first x value you get from taking your argument equal to one and so my argument in this case is just x. So I'm going to take my argument and equal it to 1, and then I'm going to take my argument and I'm going to equal it to b, the base. In this case, my base is 2. And now there's really nothing to solve here, so I can already create my chart and use 1 and 2. Now if I plug in 1 and 2, I get log base 2 of 1 and I get log base two of two. Now we already know we need to figure out that y value. So if I switch the forms over, this is two raised to what exponent equals one and two raised to what exponent equals two. Well, I know here that any base raised to the zero power will give me one and any base raised to the one power will keep the base the same, right? So then I know that the y value here is 0 and the y value is 1. And if I draw my asymptote, your asymptote is always going to be a vertical asymptote at the um, <clears throat> y-axis. The only time that that will move is if your argument um, shifts. Okay, So if your argument had a plus a number or minus a number, it's going to shift it to the left or to the right. So how do you figure out where it should be? Set your argument equal to zero, which I haven't done yet, right? So my argument is x, and if I equal that to zero, I just have the equation x equals zero. Well, guess what? That is the y-axis. So this one basically does not shift the asymptote. So the, I graph the asymptote first. Then I also graph two points, and I have two points. We have one and zero. And two and one and then you hit the graph of function icon and it will draw it for you probably a whole lot prettier than mine but you get the idea okay so now let's look at another one and they will get more um, eventful I guess if that's what you want to call it because this one is the basic topic there will be one later in advanced okay but it's the same setup anytime you have to grab, graph a logarithm, okay? So first thing I wanna do is set my argument, and my argument is x again. So set my argument equal to one, set my argument equal to the base, which is one third in this case. And I also wanna set my argument equal to zero for the asymptote. So this is for the points, and this is for the asymptote. So then when I make my chart, because there's nothing to solve here, I get one and one third, and if I want to know the y values, I have to actually plug this stuff in. So I have to say um, y equals negative one plus log of one third of one. Now, before I can solve this, I have to move this over because you can't switch the form over unless it's literally just log all by itself. So I do have to add one over. This is going to make this part a little bit more complicated, but it's still possible to figure out. Then I'm going to switch the forms over. So this base raised to the log equals the exponent. So this exponent equal to 1. Now I know that the only way for me to get that is if that exponent equals zero because any base raised to the zero power equals one. So I know that this needs to be zero. What that means is that y plus one has to equal zero, okay? And so then if I solve for y, that means y actually has to equal negative one. 
okay? Now, that was a long process to solve for y, and unfortunately, I have to do it all over again, okay? And I'm just going to erase because it's literally the same steps all over again. The only thing different is that instead of plugging in 1, I'm going to be plugging in 1 third. So then when I switch the form over, it's this base with this exponent, but equal to 1 third. And what would the exponent have to be so that 1 third base stays a 1 third? That exponent would have to be 1, which means that my exponent y plus 1 would have to equal 1. And if I minus 1 over, it means that the, num the variable y would have to equal 0. Okay. Now my asymptote is the base, I mean, sorry, the argument equal to 0, which doesn't change anything. So my asymptote will still be on top of the y-axis and then I'll have these two points um, one and negative one and then one third and zero and so you might have to use that um, graphing button to plot that point because you can't really graph one third zero on your own but it is right here and so then what happens is is it looks like this Okay, so it does change it up a little bit. But as long as you're doing these steps up here, set argument equal to one, setting your argument equal to the base, setting your argument equal to zero, and then just plugging in these numbers, whatever you get, and then working out the problem. Now, some of them might be a little bit easier to work out. Some of them might be a little bit more complicated to work out but it is still possible.